Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Annabelle. I have a service dog in training named Thunder Rose and a service dog, retired service dog named Charlotte. She's right next to me. Oops, sorry, baby girl. Ugh. Here she is. Pretty girl. So, this is a small update about Thunder's health. Um, and I did a photo shoot today, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the pictures. So, Thunder is... It doesn't have Addison's disease, which is amazing. So that means I can now, find I can finally go ahead and, sorry, she's making her bed. So I can go ahead and finally continue her training. Um, I had filmed this video prior, but um, my camera decided to cut midway. So I deleted both of those videos and I'm going to redo this video and get it out for you guys today. Um... I had put a little training bit in it, but um, I'll redo that video and I'll actually go ahead and add all of Thunder's tricks um, and tasks and stuff like that in that video. Um, instead of just showing a bit of it in this video because she did quite get a lot of treats today too. And like she's had these treats before, but... With her upper GI, I don't want to give her too much because then she'll get sick. Um, so, anyways, with Thunder not having Addison's disease, all the plans that I've had for me and her are now in full swing, and I can't wait to make them ha happen. Ah, oh, it's snowing outside. I'm so happy I did the photo shoots early this morning before this white crap is coming down. But, anyways, don't you dare bark, please. Keep being lethargic. Keep sleeping on the pillow and being lethargic. That really helps. Anyways. Sorry for the barking. We have five dogs on this property, not including Thunder and Charlotte. Um, the neighbors has two dogs and my grandparents have three dogs. My window's open because it's hot in this blue room. We call it the blue room because the walls are blue. If you guys can see. I don't know. But anyways. The ceiling and walls are blue. Pitch blue. Here. See? Blue. Blue, blue, blue. Everywhere. So, yeah. So, um, like I had this a trip planned for August and I have a trip planned for December to go visit family for Christmas. This August trip is a birthday present for my mom and I'm so happy I can finally do this trip um, because I was still going to do it without Thunder, but I really, really need Thunder. Um, I've flown before, but I've only flown in a cockpit plane where it's only, it only holds like four people, but now this, four, four people, not three, but four. Um, compared to this plane, it's going to be a bigger plane because we're going to Toronto. <laughs> so, um, more people, people cause anxiety for me. Um, obviously we're going to be flying for an hour. I've flown the maximum of like 20 minutes, 30 minutes on a cockpit plane. Um, you know, so I never flown longer than that long. I've done road trips for like 12 plus hours. So, I mean, I'm used to doing long trips, but I've never flown and I get car sick very easily. Um, so... And then with a lot of people, and obviously with all the coronavirus going on right now, I hope it settles down by the time we go. If not, I might just have to cancel. Or my mom's just going to need to tough it up, buttercup, because, you know, get some medical mask or whatever, and then get on that plane and get to where you need to go, and then just hibernate in the hotel room till, you know. Yeah, but then that wouldn't be fun. Anyways, it's something that I'm going to figure out as time goes. Let's just hope the coronavirus settles down. So... Yeah, so Thunder got vaccinated today, and Thunder has a history of being allergic to her vaccines. Um, she will get very, very lethargic and puke. Leave it! <whistles> Leave it! You don't need to eat those mouse poops. I have to pick that up. Good girl. So she has a history of being very lethargic and throwing up and refusing to eat throughout the day. Today she's being somewhat lethargic but she was very very stressed at the vets um last visit kind of traumatized her they went 
they brought her in the back and they kind of they're the one who were holding her while they draw her blood to get her tested for Addison's disease and they're the one who were holding her when they microchipped her and she's never been in well, she's been in the back of the vets before um when she got spayed but she hasn't been back there after that so she's used to me being there when she gets her vaccine so today was very very stressful for her so her heart rate actually wasn't the norm for once which was between i think 130 which that's what they like oh and if you hear cars it's people coming in the driver coming to work <sighs> i think my mom's home or my mom's um friend that helps her uh, I guess we could say co-worker has arrived um but yeah so she's being somewhat lethargic today but I think that's gonna go away with time um I don't think she's reacting to her rabies vaccines so she did only get her uh, her her rabies please don't bark please I really don't want to film this video a third time No, please, Thunder. Please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you too. Please don't. Be quiet. Be angels. Please. Okay. Now that that's settled down. Yeah, it's my mom's co-worker that arrived. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, so yeah, with Thunder being allergic to her vaccines, we are doing it once, one at a time. So she got her rabies vaccine, next is going to be the parvo vaccine, and after that is going to be her bordetella, and then uh, the cough, kettle cough one, um, and see which one she's allergic to. Depending which one she's allergic to, then we're going to take a different route, a different course of action to help her. Obviously, she's a service dog, so she's exposed to a lot of things. And needs to be vaccinated. If I'm going to travel with her, she needs to be vaccinated. Um, so, that's... So, yeah. Um, so, throughout this video, I'm going to add pictures um, of the photo shoot that I took. I took a bit of... A, well, a bit of pictures, in a ways. Uh, they were cute pictures and stuff like that. Um, YouTube went ahead and took down my comment section on some of my videos if not all of my videos and I don't know why they their explanation is my content is more for kids which my content I guess is somewhat related to for kids but I mean it's an educational channel I'm going to be learning teaching you guys about service dogs um the laws for my city only in Ontario Canada we follow the AODA not the ADA nothing like that just the AODA so, which I will leave a link, probably, if I could find it, down below in the um, description box for you guys to go ahead and read it if you guys are interested. Um, but, yeah. So, they took it down. So, you guys can't really leave comments for me, which I'm sad. I'm going to see um, what I can do. But, um, I'm going to end the video here. Um... But yeah, so if you guys liked this video or any type of videos that I've posted in the past, so I bought a few gear items, so I'm going to be doing gear reviews um, pretty soon. I will be doing morning routines, nighttime routines, day in the lives of a handler or day in the life of a, of a service dog, um, going on walks, doing training videos, um, showing you guys how I socialize thunder and stuff like that. So... Um, along with some outings that we do, um, some training outings that we will be doing, or outings in general that we will be doing, trips that we'll be taking will be filmed, um, etc. So if you guys like this video, either subscribe and click the notification bell, or you guys can come back every Monday. Um, the time changes every single Monday, it depends how I feel, um, and it depends when I wake up etc and when I feel to film a video it depends what I have planned for that day as well too 
Um, I will be pre-filming some videos since so because of the coronavirus, I have three weeks off of school. One week is the March break and then the two other weeks are um, because of the coronavirus. So I'll be home for three weeks. Well, I'm home every single day of the week <laughs> for like a few months and stuff like that um, because I do all my schooling at home. So, which you guys will see in my videos when I post them. So I will be pre-filming some videos and uploading them on Mondays and I might start doing it every Monday and Friday just to put out two videos for you guys um, a week. Oh, excuse me. I have the hiccups. But yeah. Bye, guys.